Hello, this is Z9, and I've got some solutions for my jammed minecarts. Let me give you a show. So I have two circuits built here in the immediate vicinity uh, for solving the how to clear the cart and trigger it to go once per day. So what I have here is a circuit that will cause our redstone to flash once triggered. So I'll give that a quick show here. Notice how it comes on and comes off. Basically, there's a time delay on that one, which turns off so that this triggers slightly before the redstone torch is turned off, and it turn pulls the block out of the way after it's been triggered. So, just another look at that. Anyways, I also came up with another one. This one is slightly different as in it is powered oh, by the way that switch is, you easily replace that with the daylight sensor in this case I just have the daylight sensor hooked up this one's a little bit more redstone but it doesn't make any noise which I kind of like I just added the piston to simulate our load in this particular case so what we have here the switch is in the off position daylight sensor powers our relay as soon as the relay is powered uh, in my particular build I have a very long run before I get to my first relay uh, the relay has to be to the point where the 15th tile is at least enough to power that relay again same time delay here and then we use the comparator to compare the input here to the input over there in this case the relay is injecting a 15 signal so it's important to have at least a 14 signal here in this case that relay makes that a 15 that a 14 so that when it's comparing the 15 to the 14 it does not pass on the 14 but in the same way we can trigger this via day and night so we'll go ahead and do that 20,000 pitch black as you can see the pistons in the background are also triggered to uh, daylight sensors so we'll go ahead and make it daytime and up it comes. Notice the piston fired once as the redstone pulsed. At this particular point in time of the day we can see that it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, well now eight redstone levels. So that, that is now giving off eight which is being diminished by one. And of course we can I was just playing around with the switch to force it to 15 to make it trigger. So let's see that attached. In this case we have a minecart which moves back and forth. In this case I'm going to break its feed into its hopper so that it can't go on its own. And why don't you come back like so. So here we've got our daylight sensor hooked to our booster to make sure that this guy always receives a signal. Very important because otherwise it will continuously send your cart as the light level because if that's a one redstone level one there then that would be a zero and therefore your relay would trigger which means it would be passing that signal and your uh, cart would never stay in the station. The piston would be open all the time. So it's very important to have the booster relay and then of course boost it again because whatever you put in there if you're going to bring it around like this is going to be less. There's more efficient w ways to set these up too using blocks and whatnot. In this case we'll make it night again. So our circuit deactivates. Our cart is in the station. And as you can see our normal stack counter where we see let's go ahead and add some items 20. So as it loads, we can see that the one first redstone kicks on, not quite enough to trigger it. So again, these are set up to need 23 items. So where that's not lit, we can just make it daytime, and it's enough to pulse that circuit and get your cart going, as you can see in the background there. Cart goes, unloads, and returns. So that is the test 
Let's see if it works in the real life. Let's get down to our redstone area. Here's my daylight sensor. See the redstone coming out of it as it runs up to the sky. I put glass blocks so no monsters or anything are jumping down. And then under here we have a relay and our redstone path. Just sneak around the corner here and show you that. There is our redstone relay. Notice the signal's kind of getting a little weak there, a little hard to see, and then the relay is boosting it of course, and it still makes it around to the edge here with to hit our delay trigger. So that way this cart will fire at least once a day. And I will show you what I mean by getting jammed. So in this particular case we have items that luckily the farm will not push through <laughs> for this during this demo. Uh, clogging our cart. None of them equaling the magic 23 number. Our hopper is currently empty. So our first item was a stone slab. So we just have to make sure whatever item we put in the hopper here, the first item is not a stone slab. And I just totally messed that up. I wanted to use the ladder. Sorry. Now we can put these items back in. Okay, in the case of a hopper, it always empties from this side moving to the right. So if the ladder, in this case there is no ladder in our hopper, therefore it stops. This slot is not empty, so it will not move on to the stone slabs. Stone slabs, well heck, we got 28 right here, they'd trigger the cart in and of itself. So that's where our sensor comes in. I will show you that firing and clearing the jam. Overspill. I was hoping maybe uh, another cart would come into the station and show you how that works. But uh, as we can see, it's daylight out, and our lock is on, keeping it from pulsing. And we've got some items in the cart, but not enough to trigger it. So, if we come over here, can we get both of them? And not quite. Maybe we can fix that. There, now you can see both. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, change our time. Helps if you spell time right. Wow, so what happens when you make videos late at night? It's not a valid number. Apparently it is space sensitive. Did not know that. Okay, so as we can see we're not firing our relay. Our relay is not firing over there. So let's make the time. I think it's 2000. Oh, and there it was. That was enough to trigger it. Saw it pop over on the side there for a second, and then you can hear the cart leaving the station. And when, of course, it comes back, it will load our items back up. Oh, now we get to see it. So in this case, it's going to back up. Oh, don't empty too quickly. Oh, oh too late. Oh, because it's iron. Okay, iron came into the station, iron left with everything else. Or maybe it wasn't iron. It should have been roses if it was iron. Anyways, that's how it works. It's now going to suck up all of our items and send them up to the main storage facility. Because our daylight sensor cleared our jam. So that is how to deal with your jammed minecarts and a great new use for the daylight sensors. Actually, I, as soon as I get done posting this, I'm going to try to build a automatic garden of some variety. I will talk to you later. If you'd like me to explain this in more or less detail, please let me know in the comments below. And if you would like to see more of this, please you know, subscribe to my channel. Uh, let me know if you have ideas of things you'd like to see built. Thank you. Good night.